Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to another cash stuffing video. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alicia. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Um, we do all kinds of cash stuffing. We do savings challenges, um, just all kinds of budgeting things here on this channel. So um, today we are going to be doing our weekly cash stuffing. So that is our spending money for the week. And then we are also going to be doing some sinking funds. So we'll go ahead and get started. So first up, we will count and see how much money we are working with today. All right. So we've got 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, just check real quick and make sure everything's in screen. All right, so 300, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So $400 that we are working with today. Let me just put it over here in our cash tray and we'll get started. Let's see here. And some of these bills this time are a little raggedy, but that's okay. They still spin, so that works. All right, so we're gonna pull out our spending binder for the week. So this is just our money that we spend each week for groceries, gas, um, anything like that. So first up is gonna be our groceries. So that gets $100 each week. So we've got 50, 100 going in there. Okay. And um, I do have um, a spending envelope here just in case I grow over in that category or any of my other categories actually. So if you're looking at that and you're like, you know, that's kind of a low budget, um, that is why. Sometimes I do spend a little more than that. Um, typically what I do is I buy a lot of our meat in bulk and um, so I don't buy that like week to week. Um, I haven't been able to do that the last couple months though, but starting next month, I'll be able to do that again. So that's a hundred for groceries. Then next up is our gas money for the week and it is gonna get $60. So we've got 20, 40, and 60. So, and hopefully this will be good. I did mention um, in the last video, our gas has been going down a little bit in our area. So my husband has um, two cars. He has a car and he has a truck. So typically he drives his car back and forth to work each week. Um, and he doesn't usually drive his truck just because of um, the car is better on gas. So um, we are having some problems with that car right now. So he is gonna be driving his truck next week. Um, so hopefully, That'll be enough for our gas and we won't have to put any more with that. All right, next up is piano. So that's my daughter's piano lessons. It gets $20 each week. There is a 20 for that. Okay, next up is our dining out and it is gonna get um, $60. So we're gonna do a 50 and two fives for that. So 50. All right, so 50, 55, and 60. And um, so for our family, $60 is usually good for either like a couple of fast food meals or um, one like sit down nice restaurant. So um, that works for us. We usually eat out twice a week. All right, next up is spending or our miscellaneous or just like an extra kind of buffer. That's any extra spending we do throughout the week. So if we go to you know, Walmart or Sam's or anything like that. Um, we pull that money out of here. So it's gonna get 60 also. So we're gonna do a 50 and a 10 for that. All right, so that takes care 
of our spending envelopes for the week. And then next up, we will work on some sinking funds. So I wasn't able to do sinking funds last week. So I'm really excited to add those back in um, for the new year. I did go through and make a few changes um, to our sinking funds. We're not stuffing quite as many as we were last year. Um, I just, for me, I really need to see some stuff get fully funded and feel like I'm accomplishing something. And um, I just wasn't feeling that last year quite so much. We did pull out, we had some envelopes that were fully funded and we ended up having to pull out of them and I was having to add those back in and we just ended up with a lot of envelopes. So I kind of scaled things back and um, we don't have quite as many now. So hopefully they'll get a little bit more each time. All right, so, um, so we should have $60 left to put into these and I'm not gonna count it again, but hopefully it works out right. If not, I'm, I'm filming everything, so I should be able to go back and see where I made my mistakes at. All right, so we are gonna start with our medical envelope, and it is gonna get $11. So that is five, 10, 11. So it has a total of 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So $113 in there. I am trying to build this back up to 500. Um, so that's what I wanna get it to, to consider it kind of fully funded. All right, next up is our giving envelope. So it is gonna get $5 today. So we're just kind of saving this up in case there's like anyone in need or like if they take up like extra money at our church or something like that, that's what this money is for. So we currently have 100, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So 110 in there. And I did want to kind of ask you guys opinion on giving money to other people or like loaning money to other people. So I know like a lot of people when they're first starting out on this journey, you don't have that money to give to people. You know, somebody calls you up and they're like, hey, can I borrow some money? And it's really, really easy because you can just say, you know, I don't have it. Uh, but when you kind of get to a better financial position, what, what are your kind of boundaries as far as borrowing money? I know a lot of people say, you know, only let someone borrow money if, if you plan on actually giving it to them because, you know, like nine times out of 10, they're probably not going to pay you back. Um, so let me just give you guys a little bit of insight. We were kind of dealing with the situation. We had, um, a family member call and ask us for, to borrow some money. And it was, um, it was a pretty sizable amount of money. And, um, so, and I, like, I know this person's probably not going to pay us back. So my husband is a little more, um, he kind of believes that, yeah, maybe they would pay us back, but I know this person's really poor, poor at handling their money. They're not, they're not good at that. Um, so I know we're probably not going to get that money back. Um, but anyway, um, so my husband's like, you know, as long as they tell me that it's something that they need the money for, like, I'm kind of okay with letting them borrow it. And this particular person like called up and they were like, I want to borrow this money. And it wasn't like, it wasn't like a hundred dollars. You guys, it was like, um, thousands of dollars that they wanted to borrow. And, um, so anyway, they didn't want to give us like any information about where the money was going. So that was kind of like a red flag for us. So I'm like, you know, I'm really not comfortable doing that. And so anyway, we, we were able to kind of find out that, um, this person was being like scammed by somebody who was wanting them to get a lot of money. And they were telling them, you know, if you get this money to pay like a tax or something, then you're going to get a lot more money. Um, and so I just kind of wondered like, what are your boundaries? Do you guys have like a limit that you set as far as like letting people borrow money? Like there are a few people that could call me up and ask to borrow money and I'd be like, okay. And I wouldn't even ask questions because I know them well enough to know that they would pay me back. Um, but as far as like other, other people, other family members, do you guys just tell them no? Or do you, you know, do you just give them the money? So my husband and I come to the agreement that we have that giving envelope and, um, that's all that we are willing to kind of, kind of do right now. So just let me know what you guys thoughts are on that. All right. Car insurance is going to be up next. It is going to get $10. So five, 10. 
so yeah we were just kind of looking for uh, some other people's perspective because you know for me I'm kind of like I just I just don't want to do that and then my husband's a little more trusting of people and so I, I just kind of wonder what other people's thoughts were on that car insurance so it now has 50 70 90 95 100 in there so that one's doing pretty well all right next up is car tags and this is one that is going to be due pretty soon um so it's going to get 25 so 20 let's see one two three four and five so 25 going in there today and um so i told you guys that we were having issues with one of our cars well it has to be inspected by the end of the month and so <laughs> um it's funny because i was telling my husband i was like you know we need to get your car inspected because you know what kind of luck we have if we don't do it and we wait till last minute um something's going to mess up on it so um he was supposed to go on monday i think it was monday he was going to go when he got off work and get his car inspected well he ended up working late so he's like well it's fine i'll just go tomorrow and so when he got up tuesday morning our car like wouldn't start at all so <laughs> so anyway we have to get that fixed so we can get it inspected so car tags has 50 100 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 and 29 so 129 in there so far so we are kind of on a time restraint we got to get it fixed um pretty quickly all right so next up is our land envelope it is going to get eight dollars today so and we are working to check off the 75 dollar amount here um and we have 50 51 there so far so we got a little ways to go on that one but it's going to get eight dollars today so one two three four five six seven eight that puts us up to should be 59 I believe 50 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 59 in there so far okay and then next up is our new car envelope so it is gonna get um, one dollar today Okay, and that puts us up to 100, 250, 51, 52, 53, 54. And actually, um, I didn't film last month whenever I added the extra 100. So if you're new here, um, what I do is I put $100 each month into this. I just leave it in my bank account. Um, so that's why there is these um, prop bills in here. That's just to help me keep track of what I have towards this goal in the bank. Um, so I do need to add another hundred there. So let me pause you guys really quickly and I'll just grab that and um, we can add it. In. Okay, sorry about that. So I grabbed my prop money here. So let's find our 100s so I can add that in there. So this is actually from last month. So that's from December. And then I think it may be next week or the following week, I'll be adding another um, 100 for the month of January. So that puts us up to 100, 200, 350, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 354. So that one is doing fairly well. And so that is all I have for my sinking funds. Um, these are a couple of envelopes that I'm not stuffing right now. So I'll be adding those back in um, hopefully before too long. But these are just my highest priorities right now. So that's, that's what I'm stuffing. All right. So I've got... Um, some money left over here so um let's see i've got um twenty dollars is for our personal envelopes for the week so if you're new here um every person in my family gets five dollars each week for just like personal spending money um so i forgot to grab those out of my car um so i'm just gonna go ahead and put the 20 to the side and i'll stuff that off camera so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that's for our personal envelopes. So $5 each. And then that should leave $20 here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then this $20 is going towards our savings challenges. Um, so that video should go up 
next week, maybe Tuesday. I'm going to aim for Tuesday. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I'll put that to the side. I don't have a whole lot for um, my savings challenges this time, but next week I should have more money to go in there. So um, we'll see how that goes. I had um, been doing the Friday night game night. I cut that out. So that $20 that I was doing towards my game night each week is going to go towards savings challenges. Um, so that's kind of the plan there. Um, let me see. I think that is all I have for you guys today. Um, so thanks so much for tuning in for another video. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoyed the content, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and help me to grow my channel. I will see you guys back here next time. Bye.